Welcome back and in this video I'll be talking about the best AI tools for Amazon KDP. Now these tools have transformed my business and helped me to speed up every single part of the process so you won't want to miss this out. So the first tool we're going to be talking about is ChatGPT. Now this tool is like your own personal virtual assistant. It saved me so much time and, and I use it to create a lot of my content and ideas for Amazon KDP. I think I've shown on my channel so many different ways that you can use it. For example, with short stories, lists for word searches and crosswords, quotes, sentences for prompts. There's so many different and unique ways that you can use it for your business. Even with the uploading process, it's been able to save me so much time that I can use it for title and subtitle ideas, even pen name ideas as well. Even with the description, which is not one of my favorite parts, you can generate that. And it can even provide you with some keyword ideas. But make sure that you do your research first with Amazon and then just use this tool as a support, as your personal assistant that can get a lot of tasks done for you. Now it does have a free model which is completely fine to use but I've gone with the plus as I've noticed it does provide more detailed and complex responses and you also get priority access to new features. Now FontJoy is an AI tool that I use to select the best font combinations for my book covers so the tool uses deep learning to generate a balanced contrast in font pairings. Across the top you have several options so you can change the color of the background then if you click generate, it'll actually choose a random pairing of fonts. And then you've got this slider along the top where you can change the contrast you want among the font options. I usually leave it towards the middle as a balanced contrast, but it's really up to you if you want a more similar style or more contrast. And you can see as soon as I click generate the different font pairings and how they change. It will also tell you the specific font it is on the left hand side. And you can actually search and select for a specific font. And then there's a button to the left of that where you can lock the font that you've chosen. And then as soon as you click generate, your locked font will stay the same, but the others will change. Then you can choose a matching font that you find and maybe use that as the subtitle. So it's a great way to find interesting fonts that will make your book cover a lot more attractive. Mid Journey is another huge part of my business. It is the best text to image generator out there at the moment. I actually use it for my coloring pages, illustrations, book covers, mockups and logos. There's just so much that you can do with it. And I think the most impressive thing about it is just the quality of images that it produces. I previously used to pay over $300 each month just to hire freelancers to create coloring pages and the quality was no way near this. And now I'm only paying $60 each month, but I'm able to create as many images as I need and the quality is absolutely outstanding. And even as I'm going through these coloring pages, so you've got some dog coloring pages here, which are all really high quality coloring pages. Sometimes you might need to brush them up a little bit and kind of change the contrast to get rid of the grayscale. But by far, this is the best text image generator you're going to find out there. And I previously showed in a video how the coloring book actually turned out. So you can see the front cover there. I always go with the glossy cover as it adds that little bit of extra shine. And then you can see the title page, but I've got several videos on my channel talking you throughout the process of this. The next tool we're going to be talking about is bigjpg.com. Now this is actually an AI image in larger and with all your mid journey images, you need to upscale them further as the resolution is just not high enough. And I'm going to show you the difference between them both. So on the left hand side, we've actually got our mid journey image and on the right hand side, we've got our coloring page that's been upscaled using bigjpg.com. So the closer we get into the left hand side we can see how blurry it becomes and that's what I noticed when I actually ordered the book but on the right hand side we can see that using bigjpg.com that the image is able to keep its detail and this is going to provide the customer with a much better coloring experience as they're going to be able to color in all the detailed parts however with the left hand side image the customer may complain about the blurry image so out of all the AI image enlargers this was the most fastest and affordable that I could find and even if you choose the most basic subscription, you have this for the next two months and you're able to upscale 500 images per month. So if you do care about the customer experience, then it's definitely well worth it. The final tool is by Canva and they've actually brought out their own AI tools. And what we're specifically going to be talking about is the Magic Eraser. And this tool makes removing unwanted objects from a photo super easy. All you have to do is just highlight the part you want to get rid of. And in a matter of seconds, that part will be removed. And this is such a huge time saver. You'll definitely see the beauty of this tool when you have more complex images. And previously doing something in Photoshop would have taken quite a while, but just to be able to do something like this in a matter of seconds will just free up so much more of your time. You can see even in this image that even though we highlight over certain parts of the image and there's things in the background that it does 
does not affect the background at all. Now this tool is only for Canva Pro users so they will only have access to it but Canva has a free 30 day trial that you can always cancel before the end of it. So thanks for watching another video. I will add another video soon on more AI tools that I use for my business. And let me know if you're using these tools or any others in the comments.